are recommending in the strongest terms that if you live in those low-lying areas that you get out and you begin to get out now. On August 25th, Houston, Texas was affected by the most severe hurricane since Katrina hit Louisiana in 2005. 70 lives were claimed as a result of Hurricane Harvey. Homes were lost, livelihoods were lost, and so was hope. Thousands of stories were reported from different news outlets, ranging from CNN to Fox News. I teamed up with a good friend and entrepreneur Jay Mazzini to uncover the truth and document what really happened during the storm. But from the voice of the people, every outlet had a story. Now it's in theirs. I met Jay Mazzini about two years ago when he first started his clothing line. Fast forward two years later, Mazzini is a well-known brand and has a store location in the biggest mall in New Jersey, Garden State Plaza. Jay has also gained a lot of recognition on social media for his motivational videos, gaining the attention of P. Diddy and major blog outlet, The Shade Room. It was Jay's idea to go to Houston to aid in the relief for the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Me being a filmmaker, he brought me along with him to document and uncover the true events that took place in the midst of Hurricane Harvey. Here's where we find the truth. Houston, Texas. We're here. We Houston, me and my boy Lewis. About to go to Lakewood Church. Help the ones in need and everything. How bad was the hurricane? Oh, it was terrible. I mean, it was terrible. It was terrible. We got hit so hard there yeah, that save was in boats. A lot of people didn't recover from it. Right? Armin and everything. You know, a lot of people know, not yet. How, it's still, it's still real how, bad. The depth of the water, how? Oh, we had water way up here. Houses and everything gone, right? Houses, we lost everything. Yeah. I mean, we lost everything. What's your name? Vehicles, everything. My name is Darrell Robertson. Nice meeting you. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. We, we, I mean, it destroyed everything. It was terrible. You know, I've never seen nothing like it in my life. I'm 53 years old. God bless you. Yeah. Do you have any kids? Any yes, yes, yes. I have six kids. We lost everything. I mean, everything. God bless you, bro. Yeah. I mean, we had it bad. I've never seen it that bad. In my life, everything was destroyed. We lost everything. 
I think this one's like the second to worst of Hurricane Katrina, right? Yes, it's worse. It's worse. We got it worse. Yes, sir. We got it worse. Yeah. Well, I'm here to help and spread some, spread some yeah. love, help the needy. Yes. Trying to cover people yes. back, trying to save others, yes. help others. Right. That's why we came down here from New York. Right. right. I've been to Georgia Brown Convention Center, volunteer helping, you know, because they help us. We got help, but I don't think it's the way the help we supposed to have. Yeah. Help, they help better than Katrina. But here, yeah, we ain't get that kind of help. Yeah. We ain't get that kind of help. Right now, we still struggling. I mean, we still struggling. God bless you, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah. That's for real. We still struggling. That, 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 that don't do us right. No. That's for you, man. No. Brother. Brother, it's for you. Yeah. Thank you, brother. God bless you. Thank you. You right there? Yeah, I'm right there. That helped me right there. God bless you. We've been having so many looters and everything. God bless you. Right now I'm in the need of a phone. They stole my phone. They even stole my phone, Lord. I'm trying to help people. Just trying to help. I'm only trying to help. And they still stealing from me. So God bless y'all. Thank y'all for everything. God bless y'all. We need y'all. God bless y'all. Thanks for everything. Lord is so good. We need y'all. Thank y'all for coming up here trying to help us. Y'all ain't had to do it. But God sent y'all. Y'all God sent us. Thank y'all for everything. God bless y'all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank y'all. Likewise. on social media the other day everybody's coming out all celebrities is coming out Joel Osteen takes them in for a day now we come in here try to see them try to help out and volunteer we can't volunteer because they're that at the NRG stadium it's not how things go you don't just do it for the camera and close out media you do it for yourself if you're a believer in God you don't believe in everything that you believe in and you preach about you take it in for the people. You don't take it in for yourself. You don't take it in to, to shut up critics. It's not even about the camera. I, I didn't come here to show it on the camera and everything. I didn't come here to show it on Instagram. I did it because if we come along as humans, as what God put us for, we all fulfill our purpose, we could do something. We could change lives. But everybody, it's 
what this can do. Now we gotta go to the NRG Stadium because nothing is being held here. Man, I'm done. That's being a fraud. <laughs> Crazy. How are you gonna just take people in for that day to close out critics? And then when cameras are off, when all eyes are off of you, you set them out to the NRG Stadium. And you say the city wanted them there. Come on, bro. <laughs> you gotta believe in God if you really think that. I've not been here since this place turned into shelter, so um, I know it's somewhere around here. Uh, I don't know if they lit the scene or not. They lit Uber in there and left, you know? They pick you up from inside? I'm not quite sure. No. We just heard that people were over here. Ah. ah! Oh, we're just dropping this people off right there. Okay, doke. Alright. Oh. Next time when you come through, yes, sir. go up this oh, way to the one. red light, take a right, oh. and go to the stop sign, take a right. Oh, okay, thank Gate you. Sorry. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Be careful and be safe. Thank you. So what, what's been going on out here? Man, you know, like, we just been trying to make it, you know, day by day. Taking one step at a chance, you know. A lot of people here, you know what I'm saying, they doing stuff from the heart, but a lot of people just here for show. You know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, we still human beings. We not a charity case. You know what I'm saying? Me and my brothers, we all we have. We don't have nothing. We came all the way from Port Arthur. Actually, we the only people here from Port Arthur. We came here on a boat, six hours. You know what I'm saying? Everything underwater. But you know what? God's still good. You know what I'm saying? Because right now we don't need for nothing. And the plan he got <laughs> way bigger than anybody can imagine. Tell me, he did this for a reason. Every time. So, just want to tell y'all, keep y'all head up. If you lost y'all stuff, God gonna get it. That's, material, that's materialistic things. You still got your life. You still got my family. So, we gonna get it back. We gonna get it all back. Plus more. You understand? For real. Man, I'm just, I'm ready to go home, <laughs> to be honest. It's good in here, though. They got some good people in here. The volunteers and everybody, they good. The Army people are good. They don't hassle us or nothing, you know? They let us move around as we please, you know? You respect, you get respect, you know what I'm saying? Simple as that. I'm just, I'm just ready to go. I ain't gonna lie. I'm ready to go back to where I was, back to my family, man. Man, for real, yeah, man. Yeah, that's my family, too, man. I do. I faith do. without works is dead, though, man. Faith right. without works is right. dead, right. you know. So you gotta have faith. You can't let this, this can't let this be no setback, man. We gotta keep moving forward, man. We gotta you keep moving know. forward. I don't, I don't look at it as no bad outlook, you know. Everything happened for a reason, so. Right. 
gotta be a big reason. Yeah. Bro. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. God ain't gonna never let us down. Never. You know what I'm saying? Ever. Ever. He ain't did a check. He do everything for a reason. Maybe this a big just a big blessing people needed. There's so many people homeless. There was so many people homeless before this. But you know what? Like I said, we take it one day at a time. We still human beings, we're not a charity case. So when I look at people, I look them in the eyes so they can feel my pain. Cause I don't have nothing but the clothes on my back and my brothers. But you know what? I still wake up every day with my head up. God good, man. That's all I got to say. Good. Time God takes a little, little teddy bear. He has one big teddy bear in his back holding it for you. You gotta understand sometimes you gotta trust the process. Yeah. There's a reason why he always takes a certain amount of things from you. A lot of people is, uh, I don't agree with a lot of like charity groups and like the churches in them. Yeah. Donation, Red Cross, I don't believe yeah. in that. If you got something you wanna donate to somebody, you come all the way, we came from New York. You got, you got something, you put bread in your pocket, you put 10, 20,000 and you give it, give it yourself. You don't just Lakewood Church, like I, I respect them and everything, but I don't agree with none, nothing they're doing. Because when critics were on you on social media saying, why didn't you open the church? You opened it for that day. When the cameras were off, now you're like, all right, get out. Go to NRG Stadium. Yeah. You're not supposed to do that. That's exactly what happened. We ain't even supposed to be here. It's a we're blessing human that beings we at the end of the man. day. We're human beings. Like, if we don't care for one another, who else is going to care? Animals? Straight up. God right put up. us here for a reason. This is a test. He gave Adam and Eve an apple. So he ate the apple. Now this formed as a test. Now who's going to pass the test? Don't only invest in your businesses and properties. Invest in your good deeds so you can find it with you in the hereafter. Straight up. Oh, this is temporary. All this yeah. materialistic things. Time yeah. Things were so bad on this. Time. You know what I'm saying? Like before the storm, people stealing, killing, kidnapping, doing all type of things. And God fed up with that. You know what I'm saying? This is a fresh start. Fresh start. And if you don't get it on this chance, I don't know what to tell you. Get your act together. Because he coming back. You better believe it. He coming back. <laughs> get your act together. Yeah. Trust me. I'm Muslim. I don't, like, I believe in all religions. Like, I respect everybody's religions. This is, aside from religion right now, this is human. You're human to a human. At the end of the day, all this politics and religion, at the end of the day, we believe in one God. There's one God, doing that's it. Yeah. But now it's more, it's deeper than that nowadays. Now people put a disguise in, pastors, preachers, to make millions, generate millions. I feel like the reason I'm out here, man, because like, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't actually have to come out here. You know, I could have made something work, but they had a 90-year-old lady that was left in her home, you know, and I helped her get to where she had to get and got her signed in when she needed to be signed in. And from there, I couldn't make it back to where I had to make it to, you know, so I got on some boats with some guys that's just regular like us that took some days off to help. And they helped us get here. And, and it's like since we got here, man, it's just like it's just been blessings on top of blessings. Donald Trump, Trump came here yesterday yeah. for the, I guess, it's, act like he was supporting, you know, we weren't tripping, you know what I'm saying, he's president, whatever, how y'all feel, but like, if right. you want to support us, support us. We're not a charity case. Don't just come in here like, oh yeah, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, everybody, look what I'm doing. Then I seen you on the newspaper kissing a baby. Like, you yeah. ain't do all of that. You did. You came, shook everybody hand, huh? Uh, I'm out. I'm out. That's exactly that was just it. exactly that what he did. That's exactly what that was done. That's and, then a, and then army that's people get an attitude yeah, with us when we tell them like, that's and not, and you know? You know, people were in here screaming, impeach. And Peach, you know and they telling them shut up. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got to like shut up. Them freedom shut up. Speech. Freedom, freedom of real. speech. Right, we're not a That's charity case. Real. I'm not about We're humans. Sit. Treat us like that. Most of us had buku money before this hurricane. Don't, they don't, don't look at us no different. Still humble about it, though. Don't look at us no different. Still humble, but don't come in here like just, right. yeah, I was here. On your high horse. On the news, Donald Trump was in here doing this and doing this, doing that. Right. Shit, you can at least serve somebody at least one plate. There was at least four or five old people in front right. of us before right. we went. And y'all walk right by them. Like, like you ain't see them. We asking the asking. We, we, we the ones that really helping them. Yeah, just right. like, like they not there, bro. Right. That's messed up though. But hey, you go ahead, you karma though, bro. Karma. 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 And that's the president of all United States. Like, and that's how you did. You went to Corpus Christi. You gave a speech. You went to Austin. You gave a speech. Coming to Houston, you just shake hands and with your stiff toupee. 
and go on about your business. Exactly what he did. Mm -hmm. It's literally I we ate my meal, turn around, and he was gone. It's not this not for this not for the media, man. It's real life. People really going through these struggles. It's thousands of us. What? Homeless man. Run out of space in here. This this not for this not games. This not funny games. This real life. Real. People really going through the motions right now. And we keep each other uplifted. Yeah, it's it's times where it's times where we all, man, <sighs> get what? mad, walk off, curse up the storm, but at the same day we all we got. So we gonna keep each other uplifted. Child, keep everybody family. uplifted. Oh, not wait. just us. What? Not just my family. Because everybody needed last night in the in the uh, cigarette section. So a guy had his uh, Bluetooth speak out. Man, that uplifted so many spirits. Just, enjoy yourself. Just a little bit of enjoy music. yourself. We, we enjoyed that's, ourselves. That's all it took. Hey. That's all it took. We don't. We not here asking for a handout. We no. are, we no. here because we have no choice. I lost everything. We have no choice. All I have is my family, and my kids. That's all I got, and that's all I need. And right. God that's Himself, it. God right. Himself got me. Like for real, like right, right, right. Crazy, and that's it. I, like I said, we not a charity case, man. We human beings. Okay, and one thing I know for a fact is that Barack Obama, man, it was him and his whole family fixing plates. They actually care. He's not even in the office no more, but he still actually cares. Donald Trump didn't do none of that. Like, what is he in the office for? He didn't do none of that. Like, I feel like we losing with him in the office. I don't know exactly what's going on, but it's a lot going on that we don't know. It's a lot they're not telling us, and it's a lot we need to know. You know what I'm saying? And if we don't educate ourselves and if we don't help each other, man, we'll lose. We'll lose. So we have to pay attention. We have to be aware of everything that's going on. And that's a lot they just not telling us. But Rock, we knew everything. We knew when this was coming. We knew this. Yeah, I know the United States stressed him out, but man, look, even after it's all over with, after eight years in the office, he's still willing to help us. You know, that's, the, that's just it. That's just it, man. We gotta just have faith because right now, we're really in a bad position. We're in a bad place that we don't want to be in. So we gotta, it, it's just like everybody just needs to come together and just pay attention to what's going on in the world. First two days after the, after it happened, like we literally water. can see water still. Like, and not even, we was here. We were here and like just walking, Except like any, anything bag. loud, it'll sound like rain or thunder. Yeah. Like Snakes. it really Snakes. had us traumatized. Gators. Sharks really had us traumatized. Yeah, yeah, gators was in Port Arthur. Yeah, oh, we had bull water sharks. Snakes. We had bull sharks, alligators. Port yeah, in Port Arthur. Yeah, Port Arthur. Somebody caught a baby bull sharks. Somebody caught a fish in, the water. in a house. Somebody caught a fish in a house. He had snakes in his tub. My yeah, sister I had said. snakes in my tub. <laughs> yeah, that's something like. That's but on the media, we'll we, be all right we though. We've been Arthur for the past 26 years. That's something right, that we've never experienced like that. Right. We've had hurricanes be before that we was gonna get some rain, you know. But it's never gotten like that to where we actually got hit by the hurricane itself. We always got the outskirts of it. We got hit this time, and we've never experienced it. And I didn't know what to do with all this water. This is what the media don't want you to hear. Everything we're telling you, this is what they don't want you to hear, because it's the truth. They can lie and feed y'all all type of BS. If you come down here, you will find out the truth for yourself. Promise, guarantee, guarantee. They have a lot of genuine people who help from the heart, like the guy himself behind the camera, you know, and his and his co-partner. You know, this is real. This is, this isn't a game. You know, we still people at the end of the day. We all have hearts, and if you can't find it in your heart to do it from the heart. Hey, then it doesn't, it's not real. It's not real at all. At all. Come on, bro. Oh. No, bro. I know it feels good in there. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. When he said did an interview. This was yesterday. This was yesterday. He said, and then they, they, they asked her, like, you know what I'm saying, how you feel about Donald Trump? She's a child. And I, you know, I told her, don't say nothing you don't know nothing about. She said she told her how she really felt. Like, I feel as if he doesn't care. She seen what we seen. Mm -hmm. He don't care. You know what I'm saying? And then, and she was talking, talking or whatever. So end up yo. So he like, all right. She was like, well, are you gonna put this on news? You know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah. Let me edit it for you. Edit it. What is there to edit? She didn't say nothing wrong. She said, she said how she felt from her heart, and she did. Edit it. It's either what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is either gonna be that part is gonna either be left out. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all won't see her on the news. I don't think we are. Even if she was on the news or not, at least I want somebody to get the message. She ain't got to be on the news. We're not worried about being on the news yeah, or nothing, man. Right, we're just, right. That's how we feel. And then she really felt like that. And she's 13. 
Uncle Zell, he don't care about us, do he? Can't lie to my niece. I, I be real about it. Right. He really don't. That's why we care for each other. You know what I'm saying? And we will. I don't care if you have Puerto Rican or not. I don't care if he was green. I still don't care. For real. True. Man, NRG Center, Houston. There's a lot of people in there who really still have their homes and still have their vehicles and everything. They're perfectly fine, but they're trying to get a FEMA check. And that's messed up for people like us who don't have nothing. Who don't have nothing. They really taking from everybody who don't have anything. People drive. People in drive. There. They I drive. Pull up. You know what I'm saying? Get out with their backpacks. Right, right. That that good. Right. What's up, y'all? What's up? What, what you doing? Go home. Nigga, I can't go home. Like, I have I'm, no home. I'm here for a check. You know what I'm saying? I think that I heard. I'll take that check real quick. Like, it's not they a joke. Got, this got, shit is for real, got, man. For real, got, man. Got, like, we serious? have nothing. We can't. We still. We were soaking wet for two days. Two days soaking wet in the same clothes. What? The shit's fucked up, bro. My shirt had a big old hole in it. Like, I had to throw my shoes. I had to throw my tennis shoes away. My Adidas was no. They were no good. These they were, were the same ones like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> they went from suede to leather gyms, man. Suede to leather gyms, man. He said they went from suede to leather gyms. I spent 180 dollars on these boots. <laughs> right. But another thing, like Journeys. when we walk through the city of Houston, people treat us as as if we like convicted felons and stuff when they see this bracelet right here. This lady walked away from me, man. <laughs> when they see this, they treat us like we just nothing. You know? Yeah, we still like, people. That's kind of like yesterday, man. Yesterday we were just walking just to explore Houston, just walking down the strip. And we stopped at one of these hotels down there because mm. we, we, we had to use the bathroom. She did good. This lady, we was going to buy some drinks. Mm -hmm. a, a drink like this is like two fifty in the hotel. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. Jesus, I'm like, well, how, how much is this water? And we Same price. And the other one, the water was a little bit bigger than that one was four dollars. So she was just like, I tell you what, she seen these bands and she was like, she pulled some more water from under our counter. She was like, well, take these waters and take these drinks. Yeah. That's on me. Y'all yeah, don't worry about that. Oh, Y'all be careful. Y'all have a blessed day. I was just like, like it's shot. Yeah, they actually really do have some people with her. Everybody not the same. It is, it is really they overwhelming not. because they do have genuine people here that really care about what we're going through. Like how we made it here, man. Right, despite of others. We got rescued by some regular guys. Brother, no, no. And they got all the money in the world. All the money. Man, and they picked, still can't they picked us. us up on some boats. Plus, and one of the guys that we was with, I man, he took us to his house with his mm -hmm. family. You don't even know us. This is a Mexican man. You don't even know us. At he, all. His house was so he big. He took us to his house. And this that time, this is five of us. Look, they wake us up in the morning. It was five of us. Hey, y'all come in. We got eggs on waffles. Breakfast? I'm like, man, this is a dream or what? That's a dream. There's no way I go from hurricane to this. Man, the man was trying to give they little niece. He was trying to give me his one of his dogs, a fish tank full of fish. Like, like, man, this is crazy. He brought yeah, us like, here. When he they, said when he they picked us up, right? They picked us up when we got off the boat. When we went to the store, man, they gave us. They had gave us some money, they and it's like, so, yeah, they gave us eighty dollars. We don't got to give us the store. Bro. They was like, go ahead and get anything y'all want. We got it. It's like, oh no, y'all just gave us money. They was like, no, y'all keep that money. And they just bought everything out of stuff. It spent like another $80 in the store. So, uh, what's up, man? They got boats, man. We never, we never they got, got the gentleman's work. name. No, we young. We come home. Yeah, yeah, we just call him. Home. And he responds, too. Yeah. He literally told us we don't got to go yeah. nowhere. Yeah, but he, he said, I want y'all to be okay. And goes nowhere to hope. Where is hope? Yeah, y'all be able to get your belongings back. We found out everything there is to possibly help us because I need it. Like, I'm not saying. If I had my home, I wouldn't be here. At all. I wouldn't be here. No, I would not. You here for what? That's being greedy. That's taking from kids. That's taking from single parents. That's taking from people who really need it. That's selfishness. That's selfishness. And it's a lot of that going on right now. I don't know how I feel to have hours but, and work. But no, nobody ever really speak man, on it. They got, they got, man, they got people. Oh, everybody's they got scared. People everybody's that scared. looking good. They got people that looking good. The food they eat they ain't even the same food we eat. They, they, they good. They got, they got king size air mattresses. I'm talking about everything. Like, why y'all really here? Wish they why y'all here? The they just trying to I get. I really it. wish they let y'all to the back so y'all can just see. <laughs> so y'all can just see. Like, they got people that give haircuts and stuff. Yeah, like, like they do have haircuts. Enough. Shout out, Miss Jackie. Yes. Um, and they got. They even got a, a salon now for the girls. Cause at first it was just the guys getting haircuts. No. Like they got their, so women got though. together and opened up a little salon. Yeah. 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 Yo, man, we in a store. These guys blessings, you know. 
All we needed was some headphones, and we, we ain't even asked for them, you know, they just did it out of the kindness of their heart. You know, man, this is what it's about, helping others. No matter if it's like a sandwich or anything, bro, it's no, one blessing is no different than the other. And a blessing is a blessing, man. And we thank these guys, seriously, from the bottom of my heart. Most definitely. Most definitely. Yes, sir. We appreciate it for everything y'all done, man. Everything, man. You can tell y'all was real humble guys, you know what I'm saying? We can tell everything was real that y'all was saying to us. So, we appreciate everything, man. We appreciate everything. Man. Thank this guy right here, man. Thank this guy. Thank you. Thank this you, guy, man. Deal. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. He real deal, man. Real deal. He ain't asked for none of this. He did this out of his heart. This ain't this ain't, this ain't for no this ain't for no camera. <laughs> even when the for the camera even got whipped out, man. It's from the heart, man. Yeah. And this is what it's all about. Uh, Salaam alaikum, peace be upon all of you. Uh, just to give you some background about what happened is, um, as everyone knows by now, Hurricane Harvey devastated the city. Over 6.5 million people live here, and uh, I would say, you know, 50 to 60 to 70 percent of them are affected by some way in this tragedy. This particular neighborhood right here is called the Fifth Ward of Houston. It's the historic Fifth Ward. And uh, this place was suffering even before Harvey came along, and it's suffering even more now. Uh, as you can see, this is a kind of a low-income area. The families here, they don't have the family support groups, the family groups, they don't have the financial background, they don't have the financial aid that they need. Uh, you know, they don't have money in the bank, their cars are flooded, many of them don't have car insurance, they don't have comprehensive car insurance. Many of them are hourly workers, they've had to take a week or to two to, week, to, two to three weeks off of work and uh, they're gonna need as much help as they can. So we decided to focus our efforts here for now. There's over 100,000 homes that are impacted. We're gonna, and you know, the work is gonna be long and hard ahead. We're talking months, if not years of work. So we wanna focus our efforts as coordinated and as concisely as possible. So we're gonna be in this neighborhood for some time and then we'll move along to other neighborhoods. But as I say this, there are groups all over Houston, Muslim, Christian, Jewish, atheists, all sorts of groups from all sorts of backgrounds helping. And we just wanna be part of that as well. Part of our, what our faith teaches teaches us is to be beneficial to those who are around us. Houston is our city and we're going to remain Houston strong. Thank you and God bless and come help out if you want to. Alright, so um, you know we're down over here uh, helping out for the people that are affected by Hurricane Harvey. Um, I represent a youth group organization called Young Muslims. You know, Igna Relief told us they needed somebody and we came down here. You know, we work for, uh, you know, uh, what you call it, Muslims for Humanity. You know, we got a bunch of guys down here. We got about uh, three cars, three vans, filled them up, brought them down and um, just got to work. You know, these people need it, and if, you know, it happened to us, we definitely want them to come up. So, uh, you know, I hope they appreciate it, and I hope that uh, all our efforts go uh, noticed. The most amazing things that I've seen about the Houston community is that people love to help each other. Like, like I said, Muslim, non-Muslim. There are many people whose homes themselves were impacted, and they're out here helping people as well, even before they take care of themselves. For example, I have a brother right here. His name is Tamim Johnson. His home was flooded up to four feet of water and it still hasn't been gutted out and mucked out all the way yet, but he's out here the very next day helping out other people. And you know, you can tell you a little bit about what he's doing out here. Well, it's not quite four feet, but we're flooded. We lost everything, but our neighbors in Grand Mission are beautiful. Um, everybody, Christians, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, everybody got together. We've helped dig each other out. We've thrown all of our stuff out. So now that everything's out, we haven't cut it out yet, but we come out here to cut this out because we have to know how to do it. Go Houston. Okay.